Hey everyone, how are you all doing today? Welcome on back. Obviously, as you can see, we're back on Underhill Valley by Mr. NBC Master Dad. So let's change screens and get into game. Hey Mr. Bodine, how you doing, bud? So doing a little bit of um harvesting at the minute. Well actually I'm doing some bailing at the minute, but going on to doing some more harvesting in a little while. Obviously some of my uh, grains, some of my, basically my wheat fields are all ready now. So I need to try and get them up before it gets too bad. Obviously the weather at the minute is not looking too bad. So hopefully we can get a quick turnaround on this field or these fields. Is this one, the little one down to the left and then the one at the top of the hill here. They need harvesting as quickly as possible. Obviously what I'm going to do with the bales, I'm just going to sell them off, make some money. Um, not doing too bad, thanks. Hopefully you had a great weekend, and obviously that goes out to everyone as well out there. Hope you all had a great weekend. So, over the weekend, um, didn't really do too much. I spent about an hour, hour and a half or so um, reinstalling FS22. For the simple fact I was getting a error. It's an actual base game error. I think I might, I might have had a bad update a couple of updates ago, so got that sorted out. It's now disappeared, so that's cool. Hey there, Neon. How you doing, bud? Yeah, how's your um, weekend going? I know you've had a couple of days off, haven't you? So, yeah. Um, actually, what I can do... Obviously, Friday... It was quite an exciting day, actually. Obviously, Mr. Dave showing off a lot of things on the new map, so that's kind of cool. So, regarding this one, obviously what I've gone and done is... can't remember if these were actually in here, but I'll just go cover everything. So, obviously the main farm here still is still a work in progress. I've added in some nice um, fencing going all the way around now. Obviously I've got my sheep over here on the right hand side. Silo, a couple of little sheds there. Still pretty much bog standard as it was the other day. Obviously I did purchase this um, the other day. I think it was actually Wednesday or Thursday. Um, to basically pull the auger wagon there for the lime. Hey, Mr. Wheels, how you doing, bud? Let's give Mr. Wheels a shout out. Twenty-four seven. There we go. And obviously, if you guys are not following Mr. Wheels, make sure to click on his link, give him a follow, and catch him when he next goes live. Who knows what he'd be playing? Um, hey, T Miller, how you getting on, bud? So one thing I did do is obviously added in... Oh, hello, this chicken. Um, obviously, these chicken pens the other day. Um, basically, a uh, base game one at the minute. I've just edited the capacity so it's a little bit more than um, it should be. Obviously, I've set it to 300, I think, per pen. Was it 300 or 6? Yeah, 300. And already got 300. I only put like 100 odd in there. That's freaking quick. That's fast. As you can see, I am producing eggs. One thing I did do with this, and it was quite interesting, was regarding the food. You can actually specify what you put into each of your pens there. And obviously, if you're not following Team Miller as well, guys, make sure to click on his link, give him a follow, and catch him when he goes live. Obviously, he's in the Philippines, so time difference for him may vary depending on where you are in the world. Uh, just working on some palettes, textures, three down, seven to go. Ah, cool. And obviously, if you're not aware, guys, Team Miller is working on a new factory for the new map, which is going to basically be doing um, like soya milk, oat milk, stuff like that. So if you're like a lactose intolerant, you could possibly get away with using that sort of kind of a alternative. And it also gives you an idea of what you can actually use other crops for in the game. It's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, but talking about crops, that was one thing I was um, going to mention about the chicken pens. I noticed actually in the XML you can actually specify what goes into the pens. So for these particular chicken ones, I've actually selected wheat, barley, and corn. So I can use any of those. 